Read or listen to all of the headlines in one place. Excerpts from the Drone Life Drone News of the Week ending July 14, 2023. Click on the titles below for the full story. Estonia full speed ahead on U-Space Sandbox. The Estonian Transport Association's recent investment in a U-Space Sandbox in partnership with Anra Technologies, a leading provider of UAM services, has taken an important new step in its development. A recent stakeholder workshop hosted at Tartus Science Park, which will host a new facility, had attendees from the aerospace industry, industrial groups, and research institutions discussing business plans and viewing preliminary operational concepts, as well as touring sites and discussing the location of an operations center. A drone mobile tower for disaster response, the Starlink Connected Solution, in partnership with NSW Telco Authority. Specialist fiber and network solutions provider Vocus has revealed a new method for granting crucial 4G-5G mobile connectivity in emergencies utilizing an innovative tethered drone. Through the use of high-speed low-Earth orbit satellite connectivity from Vocus satellite, Starlink, the drone is able to serve as an aerial mobile tower, providing connectivity over up to 28 square kilometers. This solution was developed by Challenge Networks, the Vocus company specializing in private 4G-5G networks, using hardware and tether designed and flown by XM2. Creating hydrogen from seawater could be a game-changer for the aerospace industry, as drone developers and consumers seek drones with longer ranges and higher payloads. The limitations of the lithium-ion batteries that power the grand majority of commercial UAVs have become ever more clear. While exciting development continues on battery swapping technology designed to increase range, read here, one possible solution to the ongoing challenge could be drones powered by hydrogen fuel cells instead. Fuel cells have been used everywhere from consumer cars to space rockets, so it's easy to understand the appeal of hydrogen fuel in commercial or public sector drone operations. DJI Matri Sim 30, Matri Sim 350 RD Care U certifications. Leading drone manufacturer DJI has recently revealed that its Matri Sim 30 and Matri Sim 350 RD K series drones have been recognized with pivotal certifications from the European Union, while the DJI Mavic 3 model has maintained its prior certification. The DJI Matri Sim 30 series has achieved Class C2 certification under Delegated Regulation 2019 by 945 EU, which allows drones to fly in the A2 subcategory of the Open category. This subcategory pertains to flight operations within areas where it is not possible to maintain a safe distance from non-involved people. This classification requires specific training in the A2 subcategory as well as the use of active geofencing, remote identification and low-speed operation functions. Australia publishes guidelines for air taxi vertiports. Australia's aviation regulator, the Civil Aviation Safety Authority, released guidelines for vertiport design last week after a process of thorough community and industry consultation. These new Australian regulations will permit corporate branded vertiports allowing for companies such as Skyports to create operational networks. This is a great step forward for Australia and shows our preparedness to welcome this new industry into Australian skies, said Skyports Vertiport infrastructure developer, Clem Newton-Brown. Extreme weather presents risks to formers. Better analytics can help mitigate the damage. Sintera, a Minnesota corporation specializing in agricultural analytics, recently announced the launch of its crop damage analytics platform to aid in critical decision-making around mitigation strategies for unforeseen weather events. Amidst increasingly unpredictable and extreme weather patterns caused by global warming, technology to help farmers and other customers protect their crops is increasingly important. The American Farm Bureau Federation reported that 2022 was the third costliest disaster year event in history, with more than $21.4 billion in crop and rangeland losses. Former FAA Deputy Admin Mike Whitaker tapped for nomination to lead agency the Wall Street Journal has reported that President Biden is expected to nominate former FAA Deputy Administrator Mike Whitaker to be the next FAA Administrator. 
The move has been under consideration since May, when it was reported by Axios. Whitaker served as FAA Deputy Administrator during the Obama administration, serving under FAA Administrator Michael Horta from 2013 to 2016. Whitaker was an attorney for DWA and then United Airlines. Whitaker then worked as Group CEO at Indian travel conglomerate Interglobe. Whitaker has been with Hyundai Ev Tall Company Supernal since 2020. He currently serves as Chief Commercial Officer. Bobby Healy of Manned Drone Delivery on the Drone Radio Show. Don't miss this episode with Bobby Healy, CEO and founder of Manned Drone Delivery on the Drone Radio Show. Bobby talks about the strategic partnership with Coca-Cola and the company's plans for the expanding into the United States and other countries with host Randy Goers. GeoQ expands reach in Europe for TrueView imaging sensors and LiDAR processing. Geospatial solutions leader GeoQ has announced the addition of autonomous robotics integration expert Esca Drone to its global network of distributors. Since 2014, Esca Drone has served as a trailblazer in the design, sale, and approval of drone technology, providing numerous companies with comprehensive training and personalized autonomous robotic solutions. Through this partnership, GOQ will further its expansion into the European market, especially in France and French-speaking countries, where Escadrone will offer advanced-level TrueView 3D imaging sensors and LP360 LiDAR processing software. Drone show raises funds for muscular dystrophy. Celestial Drones performs humble courage. Drone technologies development expert SPH Engineering is showcasing the utilization of drone show technologies by Celestial Drones. On this past 4th of July weekend at Point of the Bluff Vineyards in New York, Celestial Drones performed an impressive drone light show powered by drone show software. The show, titled Humble Courage, aimed to raise funds for the Muscular Dystrophy Association and raise awareness about the condition. Small drones can fly ahead of military units to detect CBR and hazards. Draper develops new capabilities. Small drones for military use are being leveraged beyond short-range reconnaissance. Draper develops detection capabilities for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN elements, so that military units can send swaths ahead to scout location and identify hazards without risking personnel. Previously, detection of CBRN elements may be performed using handheld or vehicle-mounted sensors, explains Draper. New drones will advance human and machine collaboration extend and model I partner. Today, human guided autonomous operating system developer Xtend announced a multi layered partnership with leading Blue UAS framework drone manufacturer Model I, Inc. As per the partnership, Xtend will make its XOS operating system available on Model I's technology, while Xtend's human guided autonomous drones will incorporate Model I's Voxel registered two autonomous AI autopilot. Xtend's operating system XOS offers an easy-to-deploy operating system for drones and robots, allowing any connected device to benefit from XOS's application ecosystem. Project demonstrates use of vision-based DAA to track and monitor other drones. Sensor processing and display solution developer Cambridge Pixel had joined a consortium with Visgard and Gibson Robotics to combine the capabilities of each company for a final project demonstration earlier this month at the Edinburgh Royal Observatory. The project, funded by Adasa Security Rapid Impact Open Call, with support from two UK police departments, set out to explore the use of vision-based 360 degrees detect and avoid capabilities for Bevelo's drone operations. The project utilized Visgard's onboard Esh computer and an upgraded Fortify computer vision server to simultaneously process six 4K video streams. An encrypted cellular connection was used to stream near-real-time classification of aerial objects, including other drones and their true bearings. I powered classification of any and all flying objects in the airspace, the drone tracker, AIV-6, Sterling, the base de drone recently unveiled their new D drone tracker, AIVER, 6.0, a machine learning powered autonomous threat detection slash classification command and control system that enables customers to effectively manage and take out drone based threats. De drones technology. Powered by a multi-sensor array including radio frequency RF, radar, 
video, and acoustics, can effectively identify and neutralize unfriendly UAVs through constant interrogation, while also allowing tracking and enabling friendly drones to continue to operate safely. New Drone Advocacy Alliance fights against bans on China's made drone technology. The formation of the Drone Advocacy Alliance was announced today. The Alliance is a coalition dedicated to protecting the right of American drone users to choose and use their drones, says a press release. The Alliance will serve as a platform for drone users to learn more about legislation that may impact them and make their voices heard. Yang announces $23 million private placement to support development of urban air mobility. Autonomous Aerial Vehicle AV technology platform leader Yihan Holdings has announced its entry into share subscription agreements for a total of US $23 million private placement with several strategic investors led by South Korean record producer and SM Entertainment founder Lee Suman. What goes into a Vertiport? An ODE4 supports Skyport's infrastructure with dot analysis and ID. Leading Vertiport provider Skyport's infrastructure has commissioned cloud-led digital transformation managed services provider MSP and ODE4 to provide the ID network components and dot analysis capabilities required for Vertiport operations. The agreement will see an ODE4 support Skyport's infrastructure through the construction of a global SD1 capability. Expected to go live at its first UK location later in the year, SD1 will eventually cover additional UK sites and extend to Skyport's infrastructure facilities in the USA, Dubai and France. SD1 will provide the enabling technology and connectivity for Skyport's infrastructure's global Vertiport operations.